Okay, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. Today we're going to look at some beautiful bling. <clears throat> for those you don't, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a UK reseller. I buy and sell antiques, collectibles, and everything I can at car boot sales, flea markets, in the hope to flip them for a profit. I buy some weird and wonderful things and sell it all here at antiquesarena.com. Today I'm going to share with you some beautiful bling. I bought some jewels um at car boot sale and it's coming really really cheap so i think we should get started have a look at what i bought um you know tell you what i paid for it what i'm hoping it's worth and so forth now if you like my videos i would ask please like share comment anything that will help the videos get out there and if you want to support the channel everything you need to know is in the description so Today's bling is a mixture of flea market slash car boot sale items and one or two pieces from my house clearance. Um, and just to uh, tease you a little bit, I'm going to start off with my favourite. This came in from Getly Gay Car Boot Sale Sunday for 50 pence. Look at that. Now you have two very Art Deco looking cats or panthers on the top with ruby eyes. So they have got ruby eyes or little red stones in the eyes. They're full of marker seats. You then got this large pearl and a large slab of what I believe possibly onyx. More marker seats down to a crystal, possibly a rock crystal or something like that. Set in sterling silver. Beautiful thing. Now it has a very Egyptian look to it. It is fully stamped, fully hallmarked. I haven't looked the hallmarks up yet. But I guess I would say it's probably 1920s, 30s in an Egyptian revival. It's absolutely spectacular. Really is it's quite something. 50 whole pence. Bought that. They had a box full of brooches and things. And everything was 50p. And I dug that out of there. Needless to say, I am absolutely ecstatic. Let me see if I can just quickly read the whole marks. It's got an import mark on a date letter, which looks to be F. Let's have a quick look, see if we can date it together. All right, so we'll go on this share our screen. Uh, hallmark identification, and we have got where are you? It's the import mark, it's there. I think it's Sheffield. Just double check. I'm not sure. Import marks, import marks for there it is, London. So 1906 to 1989, let's go back to Hallmark. So we know it's London, and we know it's state letter F. And which one is it? It's capital F. So it looks to be 1941. So top end of the... Um, Yeah, definitely. I think it's 1941. London, 1941. So not as early as I thought. Another 20 years on it, but still the end of the Art Deco period. Art Deco went right up into the 50s. So we have a beautiful Art Deco sterling silver brooch set with Marcus Eats, ruby eyes. That's probably a real pearl in the center there, big real pearl. And it is just glorious for 50p. I would think that's going to be 100 to 150 pounds for that brooch. I'd be surprised if it's anything less. And that's why I started with my favourite. Oh. I had a couple of pieces of gold at the car boot sale. Now I've paid, paid 50... Was it 45? No, 55. I paid 55 pounds for two pieces. 
So I've paid the scrap value because it's about three and a half grams, 3.6 grams. And at 16 pound a gram, it's about 55 pounds. So I've paid the scrap value. So this is the first. And it is set, look at them colors, with a mystic topaz. You got greens, purples, blues. That's absolutely gorgeous. It's just nine karat gold set with a mystic topaz. I'm hoping you can, the camera's capturing these colors for you. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I had a look at some prices on Mystic Topaz rings. It's nine karat yellow gold, and they're, they're retailing, you know, 125, 145 comfortably. So I'm already doing well. But 55 pound for two pieces, this was the first. This was then the second. The chain is absolutely nothing, nothing at all. I'm not worried about the chain. Um, it's a nominal bit of gold, but look at that. Beautiful nine karat gold eagle pendant hanging off it. Now you could, it's small enough, you could put it on a charm bracelet, I suppose, but it's big enough to be a pendant. And was that an American eagle possibly? Absolutely gorgeous. As I said, the uh, the chain is very thin and light, but it doesn't make any difference. Um, all in all, it's about three and a half grams for the two pieces. So you're talking it's about 50, 55 pounds scrap value. So I've only paid the scrap gold. So if you can buy good gold like that Mystic Topaz ring and this beautiful eagle for scrap value, you're not really losing you. If you can't sell them, you can always melt them out. So those two there were 50 quid. I gotta thank um, a supporter of my channel, Steve. He was in Gethly Gay and he sold me a pair of cufflinks. I don't think I've put them in a video already. So just to make sure. Now, for the general public, he was asking a fiver, but for myself, he asked three pounds. So thank you very much, Steve. I very much appreciate it and hope you had a good day. I've had a couple of pieces off him of late now. Um, and a few sets of cufflinks and some solid silver cufflinks for the Sunday Times newspaper last time off him. This time I've had some cufflinks set with these foreign coins. Now they're going to be in silver in my opinion. Let me just have a quick look if I can see any stamps. M-E-T on the back of this. What's M-E-T? <laughs> M-E-T again, I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, the coins are going to be silver. I'm not sure about the uh, actual cufflinks. By the way, they were three pounds. Beautiful coin cufflinks. If you're a coin dealer, coin collector, and you, or you just love coins, look at that. Lovely pair of cufflinks, they were three quid. If they're silver, they're going to be like 25, 30 quid. If they're not, they're still going to be like 15 quid. So I'm happy with them. On this one. This is breathtaking. This is another of the brooches that came in for 50p from the box of items. Let me pull a photograph up of it because I don't know whether you're going to see it clearly on the brooch itself. Did not just flip the locker screen. I'll show you the brooch itself now, but look at that. You've got some sort of dragon against some sort of griffin or something like that. Or the bird, maybe another eagle against the dragon. That's the brooch I'm about to hold up here. Again, in solid silver, look at that. Is that not just something? The bird or the griffin, wherever it is, is holding the eagle. And the dragon's coming around, possibly chasing the pearl. Beautiful, beautiful silver brooch. It's only a small one. Let me have a look here. The pearl is actually gold. It's got a gold pearl or gold on silver, possibly, or it could be nine carat gold. Um, but yeah, it's really strange. That's definitely a beak, so it's, and they've got glass eyes. Looks like the glass eyes there. No. Um, it's just an exquisite thing. I don't think I've ever seen one before. I haven't done the research on it yet, but look at that. 
absolutely stunning bit of bling. Um, I have to research it, but somewhere on 30 to 45 pound, I would think, because it's so unusual. Next two pieces come in as part of my house clearance. I'm going to slowly show you some of the bits from the house clearance as I uh, dig them out. I've pulled this one out because it's going in for repair. We have a sterling silver and enamel um, bracelet, and it is the Zodiac. But what's missing off this, it should have a little loop there and a little catch there to join them together. Um, both ends are missing. Um, it literally cost me three or four pounds to have a little circle clip uh, and a loop put on there so it can be joined up. And then you have the probably Chinese Zodiac. Well, that's the Zodiac either way. All the um, star signs in enamel on sterling silver. That came in the house clearance. Um, and it's an absolutely beautiful thing. So it doesn't owe me anything really. Um, Price-wise, well, I found one. It shocked the hell out of me. But bear in mind, it's got to go in for repair. But have a look at this. Uh, still, it's over. No. Why is it on the necklace? Anyway, there it is. Right there. There's the bracelet. All I'm missing is that little um, clasper there, which they'll have to put on. And that's where they go. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? All I'm missing is the little loop and the clasp at the end. I don't think it's going to achieve anywhere near that. But, um, you know, wishful thinking, like. Uh, right, so you can see there, that's what I'm missing. A little circle loop like that and a couple of loops. That's all I'm missing. Absolutely glorious thing. And yeah, that was part of my job lot of house clearance jewellery. I had quite a bit of jewellery. 99.9% .9 it was rubbish and ended up being sold at cardboard sale in one job lot as costume jewellery for jewellery restorers and people who make their own jewellery. And I think I had 20, 25 pounds for it. But I pulled out a few pieces, maybe 10 or 15 pieces of good jewellery. This next piece being one of them. And we have a nine carat gold ring set with opal and garnet. So a nine carat gold ring with a nice little opal and garnet. Unfortunately, the lighting in here isn't very good for you to capture the opal very well. You can see, hopefully see some color in it. But an opal and garnet ring in nine carat gold. Not a lot of money, probably about 70 pounds, something like that. Give or take. 65 75 somewhere around there um but a nice ring didn't really cost me anything because it's come in the house clearance as did this absolutely stunning little thing no it's not valuable it is a sterling silver thimble with a flower on the front and it is a fully hallmarked example uh, let me just find the hallmarks view I don't know whether you'll be able to see them there, but it's hallmark dust there. And it is a silver example. And a nice silver thimble like that's about 20 quid, 15, 20 pounds. Bear with. Just making sure. And this is the last piece I'm showing today from the house clearance, which is a silver and Amber ring, but a very pretty one. Lovely uh, colouring and pattern to the amber. And a very plain, but quite elegant uh, silver ring. Again, not a lot, but £15, something like that. Then a few pieces came from the house clearance. This is another of the brooches that came in with the two silver brooches, but this is costume jewellery. 
but it is costume jewelry with a name. Now that is absolutely gorgeous. It would not have been nice if they were something. But it's Swarovski crystal. So it's got a very good pedigree name to it. Um, if anybody wants to know what Swarovski jewelry stamp is, it's either stamped with a swan or the block S that they used to in their earlier pieces. But yeah, nice base metal um, with Swarovski crystal elements brooch and again it came in for 50p it's gone out for about 15 pounds then i got a couple of dearer pieces paid 15 pound for a very good quality necklace and bracelet set now they are really really good quality good clasp good thick silver um beautifully set with the red green and blue stones that's the bracelet and the necklace again really good weight to it good clasp good solid piece of silver there with let me just put it together all right ah. now it's got one or two little stones missing it has but it's not the end of the world now i've paid 15 pound for this set but even with the one or two little stones missing, I see this at like £75 for the pair, £65, £75 for the necklace and the bracelet. If you want to buy this necklace alone, this much silver, all the stones, it's got to be a designer piece without a shadow of a doubt. You know, you're talking money. This piece here is on like a swivel. So it's fixed into place, but moves at the same time. And there's got to be some sort of significance to the green, red and blue. But to have the bracelet, which somebody would be asking 20, 30 quid for the bracelet on their own, let's be honest, and that, and I'll probably get about £75 for the pay. They cost me 15 for the pay. So, as you can imagine, it was a very, very good, productive week. And I also purchased this, which is a Michael Kors. Now, this is a genuine watch. Don't see me buy a lot of watches. Comes with this box, his papers, everything. I don't buy a lot of watches, but I bought a lot of jewelry off this lady at the car boot sale. And I'm not being funny, she was driving a 50, 60,000 pound car. So she wasn't dealing in counterfeit. And this was hers, and she said she never wore it. And it was still in the box. And we have a beautiful Michael Kors watch, as you can see there, it's going round, it's still running. Beautiful condition, immaculate. Now, I paid a £15 for it, but look at that. From Michael Kors watch. Now, I would assume a real Michael Kors watch would probably be about somewhere around 40 to £60 second hand. It's a bit small for my wrist. I'm not going to force it. It's got serial numbers on the back there. Number, what number are you? Where's my high class going? <laughs> So it's got two five eight eight to blow. Michael Kors. And what's it going about there? Michael Kors. Stainless steel. So yeah, anyway. A real nice Michael Kors watch. Um I don't know whether you can extend it or whether it's at this maximum already. It didn't come with any more links, unfortunately. Um, but I don't know, is that a man's or woman's? It looks like a man's watch. But either way, it's a beautiful watch. Really, really nice quality. Uh, I paid £15 for it, so I'm happy enough. Have I got anything else I want to share? Yes. Remember, if you like the videos, please leave a comment, like, and share. I mean, it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. I bought these off Sharon and Rob, a couple of friends I'd uh, talk to at the boot sale and things. And I have a beautiful pair of nine karat gold stud earrings with cameos. Portrait of a lady. Come on now. Be nice. Hopefully it's focusing in, I can't tell. 
take one out. Beautiful uh, cameo earrings in nine karat gold. Now, these are one and a half grams, give or take, and I paid them 20 quid. So they done me a fair price. You know, they give them to me again, scrap value. And I'm going to put these out, cameo earrings, for about £40, £45, double up. Somewhere over there. If I can never get it back in, there you go. So beautiful, beautiful pair of cameo earrings. I love cameos anyway. Um, I think we're a bit old-fashioned that way. Um, so what do you think? I've got a lot more jewellery to show you, but I think that will do. That's 20 minutes per day already. Um, my favourite, without a shadow of a doubt, has to be this. Now, I purchased this. Rob actually bought a 9 karat gold sovereign gold watch. Never out of his box. And you know what? His is worth more. I prefer mine. That is absolutely stunning. So, yeah. When I do a bit of research, I think I'm going to find out about 100, 150 pounds. So what do you think? Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, go check out the website. Two and a half thousand pieces listed on that website now. Give or take. Uh, this lot hasn't been listed yet, but it will be soon. Um, I'll get them up for sale ASAP and hopefully uh, we'll get some of this sold. So all in all, that's two videos done today. <laughs> yeah, you got me um, and loads more. I've got another five or six boxes of the house clearance stuff to get through and film for you. For you. I know a lot of you were asking about that. Haven't got a time a minute. The boot sales pretty much are ending in about three or four weeks. If I got time in between, I'm going to pull a box out and film it and list it. But in the meantime, I'm catching up. So the stuff from the house clearance has been put aside. I've been working boot sales, selling off all the um, low end pieces that I didn't want. Stuff I call junk, but it's not as good gear. Um, and everything's been going for 50p. But I have yet to come back from a boot sale in profit. Every time I go to a boot sale, I may take 50 quid, 100 quid, 200 quid. But I spend this straight back out on more stock. But that's what I want to do. But yeah, um, I have a million miles off covered the house, the entire cost of the house, just off the uh, junk, if you like, on the 50p stuff on the boot sales. So it's been a lot of work. I've done, I think it's five boot sales now, four or five boot sales clearing it. And it has been hard, but it's been very profitable. And to think the antique dealers were having the entire house for nothing. It's practically robbing people. It really is. The type of stuff I've had, you've, if you saw the last, the first of the house clearance boxes, that is the best stuff, granted. It, it was the cream. But the stuff in there is really good. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed. I will get, I was basically trying to say I will get to film in the rest of them house clearance boxes, but it may take a few weeks when the boot sales are shut down. Um, I'd cut cracking haul from the boot sale this week including some ship's lamps and some Swedish or Norwegian pottery and things and a very very early bronze or brass bowl so if you haven't seen that film go check it out and I'll see you very soon thank you very much for all your support and watching the videos and your comments and your likes and shares very much appreciate it bye for now